Assalamu alaikum dear students. Today we will solve exercise 28a. 28a. Put the following fractions in their lowest term. That means we have to convert this fraction into lowest term. First one, 21 by 28. To solve this type of problem, we have to find out the common factor of 21 and 28. Then we have to divide these numbers by their common factor. Common factor. So, uh, if you look at this carefully, we can divide both number by 7 very easily. So, we can divide these both number by 7. So, if we divide 21 by 7, that will be 3. If we divide 28 by 7, that will be 4. So, 3 by 4 will be our answer. But you can write this one in that way too. 21 by 28, that means that is 3 times 7 and 4 times 7. So now you can divide these 7 by 7. So here your answer will be 3 by 4. Number 2, 32 by 40. Another easiest way to find out the lowest term is uh, finding out the prime factor. Or finding out the prime factor is another type of method. So you can solve in that way too. So 32, we can divide this 32 by 2. That is, you know, uh, 2, 16, 32. 2 times 16, 32. Again, we can divide this 16 by 2. That will be 2 times 8 equal to 16. Again, we can divide this 8 by 2. That means 2 times 4 equal to 8. Then 2 times 2 equal to 4. So 32 means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. What about 40? We can divide this 40 by 2. So that will be 20. We can divide this 20 by 2. So that will be 10. We can divide this 10 by 2. So that will be 5. So we can write 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. Now we have to divide. We can divide this 2 by 2. We can divide this 2 by 2. We can divide this 2 by 2. So at numerator, we have 2 times 2, that is 4. In denominator, we have 5. So 4 by 5 will be our answer. So you can solve the problem in that way too. Now, number 6. 5a by 10 is square. 5a by 10 is square. Here we can write. 5a means 5 into a, 10a square means 10 into a square means a into a. We can divide this a by a, we can divide this 10 by 5, that will be 2. So here on numerator that is only 1, on denominator that is 2a. So 1 by 2a will be our answer. Now number 7. 7 says 7ab divided by 14 is square b. 14 is square b. So 7 a b. 7 times a times b. 14 into a into a into b. So now you can divide this b by b. You can divide this a by a. You can divide this 14 by 7 that is 2. So here a numerator that is only 1 and denominator that is 2. So 1 by 2 will be our answer of number 7. Now, number 8. Number 8 says 12a cube. 12a cube divided by 18 is square b. 18 is square b. 12a cube. 12 into a cube means a into a into a. 18 times a square means a into a into b. Now, we can divide this a by a. We can divide this a by a. We can divide this 12 by 6, that is 2. We can divide this 18 by 6, that is 3. So, at numerator, that is only 2 times a, that is 2a. And denominator, that is 3b. So, 2a by 3b will be our answer of number 8. Now, number 9. Number 9 says 3p by 6pq. 3p by 3p by 6pq. So here 3p means 3 into p, 6pq, 6 into p into q. So now we can divide this p by p, we can divide this 6 by 3, that will be 2. So here our answer will be 1 by 2q. Very easy question. Now number 10. Number 10 says, number 10, 12p square q, 12p square q. Divided by 15 p q q. 15 p q q. 
So here, 12 p square q, 12 into p into p. P square means p into p. Q cube means q into q into q. Q. 15 into p into q cube. That means q into q into q. Now we have to divide. We can divide this p by p. We can divide this q by q. We can divide this 12 by 5, 12 and 15 by 3. So 3, 4, 0, 12. 3, 5, 0, 15. So at numerator, that is 4 into p. So that is 4p. Denominator 5 into q into q. That means 5q square. So 4p by 5q square will be the answer of number 10. So thank you very much for watching the class. See you soon. Allah.